Hi everyone, welcome back to the Hopper family and garden channel with me Jay Hopper and in today's video I'm going to show you how I created this beautiful orchid wall, how I keep them happy, how I fertilize them and how I water them. So stay tuned, let's start the video. <music> So the first thing to do is to obviously go and get some wood and try to attach it to a wall and you can make it as big as you want. When we purchased this house, for some reason, the owners already had this wood here as part of the kitchen. So I said, well, this is perfectly because it's going to work out and I don't have to do as much work. Uh, the way I actually attach it to the wall was uh, with a stapler, one of those staplers for like Christmas lights. And I used my own coconut trees. I came over here, I have about eight coconut trees. So I took this part of the coconut tree uh, as big as I could. So I wrapped my orchids around it in that coconut tree to keep moisture and also for the roots to feed out of them. It's one of the best things for orchids. And then as you can see over here, I wrapped it and I stapled it like this. That way, when I water them, it kind of retains a little water here, but not a lot because it's rotten. And they're doing very good. As you can see over here, uh, roots are going for the wood and they're going to attach there very soon. I made this wall about three months now, and I actually have already some orchids attached to the wall over here, as you can see. I mean, this one is about to bloom so much. They're doing very, very, very well. So when it comes to watering, I have it very easy because I have this faucet here in my outdoor kitchen, and I can set it to, uh, shower head right here and I just pretty much spray them like this and I do this twice a week and I make sure they get enough water and moisture and they are attaching to the wall that's why we made that wall in the back that way the roots attach to it And they're doing very, very well, as you guys can tell. I have a lot of them that are about to bloom, like this one, for example. Um, this one is about to go to this one too. And I'm very excited about this one because they're brand new. I don't know what color, what color they are. I also have these four orchids uh, in this container right here and the care level for orchids in container is a little bit harder in my opinion because if you water too much it, the roots can rotten very very easily so my number one advice for you guys if you have orchids in container is do not water as much as you may water in the wall. And the reason why is because in the container, they retain more water than, for example, the wall. So make sure you water less. So I watered this tree, this um, orchid, about once a week only. And I also spray them. As you can see, I have a lot of pollen right now, so I do need to spray them. Uh, but I don't water them twice a week like I do with my orchid wall. So do not over water, guys. And for fertilizer, I'm about to show you now. So to make the fertilizer for the orchids, all you need is a pot, some water. You fill the pot up, turn the heat on, and let it get to boil point. Once the water is boiling, then all you need to do is just add a banana peel and you throw it in there and let it be there for about two minutes. After two minutes, you take it out, you let the water cool down for a minute and you can put this water into a Windex and just spray the orchid. 
this is full of potassium and orchids love potassium so they're going to thrive my recommendation is do not spray it when it's uh, in full bloom wait till the blooms fall and then after the bloom falls then spray the plant that's when the plant needs all the nutrients so now that the water is boiling you just drop this in there and leave it for two minutes okay so this looks about ready you do not want to throw this banana peel because we're gonna use it for something else and i'm gonna show you later so let's take it off the oven and let it cool down over here for a minute or a minute or two make sure the water is cold you do not want to spray hot water okay so now that the water has cooled down i'm gonna remove my banana peel from here and you can throw this in your vegetable garden anywhere but for now i'm just gonna throw it in here and as you can see i do have a lot of banana peels thrown here and over time they decompose and they feed my orchids and it's completely organic it's so much healthy for your orchids they're going to absolutely thrive so now that the water has cooled down i'm going to um, pour it into my windex bottle and i'm gonna do this over here that way there's no mess all righty and as you can see the water is kind of like dirty but that's amazing that's full of nutrients from the banana and that's exactly what's gonna feed my orchids and make them so beautiful so make sure you guys do this probably once a month it's so easy and everybody has a windex bottle in the house and banana peels so if you enjoy your orchids and want them to bloom bigger last longer and faster do this Okay, so now that it's very cold, I'm going to spray them and I'm only gonna spray the ones that haven't bloomed yet or are not even in the process of about to bloom. So for example, this one right here, I'm gonna make sure she gets some nutrients, that way she can bloom. Um, as you can see, there's a new baby here and she's doing very good. Uh, this one right over here just finished blooming about two weeks ago So I'm going to give it some spray and that's gonna promote new growth new flowers New roots this one right over here is doing really bad I actually rescued this one from one of my trees and the squirrels did uh, Bother her very much. So she's in right here trying to get better uh, this one right here also and you just want to make sure you spray them once a, once a month Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm planning on doing an update on this wall because I just did it about three months ago and there's so many orchids that are still going to bloom. So it's looking, it's gonna look very beautiful in about two more weeks or so. So stay tuned for that video. Uh, thank you guys, until next video.